What's up everybody? Yes, I'm actually in my house today because instead of getting to fly out to Tampa, I realized I wasn't gonna be able to beat the weather on the way back. And so I actually just flew around the pattern in Orlando Exec. Today we're talking about the similarities between successful salespeople and then of course, successful pilots. <laughs> In all reality, I think you can pull together a lot of similarities. You can stretch and, and pull together a lot of things that are similar to one another. One of the big reasons I wanna focus on this is because I am a sales professional and I am a pilot. Number two, I think it's a good comparison because I have a lot of experience on the sales side and not so much on the aviation side, but I can truly see the similarities and some of the reasons that I have picked up aviation and why I am so in love with getting up and flying. So the very first one I'm gonna talk about is that I feel that both are full of crap. So that's obviously an acronym. And it's an acronym I've actually used in sales when I am interviewing somebody. CRAP stands for Communication, Resilience, Accountability, and Persistence. I believe that successful sales professionals in successful pilots both have those traits. Each one is meant to be a little more vague because each one covers a larger scope. For example, accountability is a great way to find out if somebody's actually gonna be coachable, maybe if they're a little more open-minded, because they're accountable for themselves, they're accountable for what they do, and typically people like that are coachable, do want to learn, they take personal development over all else. So I'll just go ahead and run through the entire acronym. The communication piece is obvious on the sales side. Those that are successful in sales can actually communicate. And that's not just talking, that's able to actually listen to what a prospect is saying. So not just hear, but listen, and then be able to respond with open-ended questions and not only provide the maximum amount of value to the client, but also to be able to sell a product, sell a service. The pilot side of this involves the communication of let's say a CFI to a student, being able to communicate how to fly a plane. The ATP side, actually be able to communicate with a first officer, which I have not experienced before because I am a private pilot. And then lastly, myself, being able to not only communicate with ATC, but also be able to communicate to your passengers and help them understand what's going on because they have no idea what you're actually doing. The R here is resilience. You have to be able to be resilient in a sales role. You need to be able to deal with objections every single day. You need to be able to deal with rejection. Yes, the wins are great. The highs are high. And so are the lows. The lows are super low as well. And you need to be able to learn not only the ability to, I think, balance that out, but also be able to just handle it. At the end of the day, it's not personal. It's just part of the job. That resiliency has transitioned over to me, especially on the learning side, getting my private pilot in the first place, just being able to handle a lot of failure. What do I mean by that? Again, I'm just a private pilot here, but taking a year and a half to actually get my private pilot certificate was not easy. I'm sure there's plenty of ATP guys, commercial guys, instrument guys that are gonna be like, you're full of crap. But if they can actually have a little bit of empathy for a second and take a look back at when they took their private pilot certificate, understanding that it was a beatdown, it was something new and it is challenging. So with that said, you need to be able to handle failure regularly and deal with that you're durable. And you need to be durable if you wanna continue both on that aviation career, if you wanna take a career, or just enjoy hobby flying. It's the same thing goes for sales. You need to be able to be resilient. So I think that's one of the other similarities here is both resilience on the sales side, and of course resilient being a pilot, whether that's learning, always taking it to the next level, or just getting a certificate. The A is something I mentioned earlier, and that is accountability. On the sales side, you need to be able to take accountability for everything that you're doing. You have a territory, if it's your own personal territory, and you have to grow your numbers, at the end of the day, you're accountable for those numbers. If you're in leadership, you're accountable for your entire team, even though you might not fully be involved in something one of your team members do, at the end of the day, it falls back on you as the leader. With accountability, especially when I'm interviewing, accountability is really important because it's gonna give a little insight into whether or not that person is accountable, meaning do they accept criticism? Do they take any kind of coaching and actually do something with it? Are they accountable in the fact that they are so attracted to personal development that they hold themselves to a higher standard? I think this is one of the big similarities in pilots and salespeople in this acronym that I think are the most closely related. 
And the reason I say it is because on the pilot side, you also have to learn a ton. A pilot has to be accountable not only for what's going on in the cockpit, but if you have passengers, you're accountable for what they do as well. Especially for myself, since I rent, I have to take people out onto the non-movement area and they have to understand what I say goes which actually ties back to all the regulations. At the end of the day, you can go find this. It actually states the pilot in command, the PIC, is the one that has the final say. The very last piece is persistence. And I think this on the pilot side has much more to do with learning and moving forward through different certificates, especially for myself, just getting my private, I still wanna get my instrument, hopefully my CPL, my commercial. Learning is tough. I had to spend a year and a half doing it while I also worked a normal job, and it's just not easy. You have to be able to handle learning a lot of different things, you have to handle failure, and you have to just keep on pushing. It sounds really similar to sales. There are hundreds and hundreds of articles and videos and content on just being able to persist. Follow up is a great example there on the sales side. You've got to continue to follow up, provide as much value as possible to actually get some of these clients on board with you. Some of my best clients were ones that I had to chase after for a year or more. I would say that's persistence. So that's number one, guys. The actual acronym CRAP, communication, resilience, accountability, and persistence is one of the biggest similarities between pilots, successful pilots, and successful salespeople. The second similarity that I find that pilots and successful salespeople have in common. Both are continuously up in their game. While it is mandated in the aviation community, it's not so much on the sales community. In aviation, you need to log a specific amount of day and night landings. You need to actually do that to actually remain current for passengers. When you start earning different certificates like an instrument, which I don't have yet, you actually have to shoot regular approaches in a certain time frame. The regulations themselves actually force pilots to stay up to date, which is another side point is that it's a lot more than just to stay up to date and current versus being proficient, which is a great example of what I was doing today. Instead of actually flying all the way to Tampa and just going home because I couldn't actually fly to Tampa, I decided to stay in the pattern and of course get a couple more landings in. Why? Because it was good practice. It was kind of windy, so it was a really good example of getting some crosswind practice in. I wanna to continue to stay proficient and not just current. On the sales side, marketing is always changing, content out there is always changing, and the way that people are buying is always changing. So as a salesperson, if something's not working, you need to take a step back, look at the basics on the sales side and figure out what can I change internally on myself, remaining accountable and figuring out how to get back to what you were originally supposed to do. Close deals, sell a service or a product. So that's number two, the successful pilots and the successful sales professionals are always trying to up their game, whether that's the personal development side or just learning what's new out there. Number three for a sales professional and a pilot, I think is a little bit of a stretch, but not too much. I think that what sales professionals and pilots have in common for number three is actually the ability to both problem solve and critically think. Yes, before you take it any further, I'm not saying that the person that is out there selling door-to-door -door stuff is anywhere near the critical thinking level of let's say Sully who landed the plane in the Hudson. But let's back up. You still need to, as a sales professional, problem solve and strategically think, critically think for the client across the table, especially if you're trying to take on that consultant role. If you wanna be a resource to your client, you need to take it to the next level. It's more than just answering an objection and asking a question, but it's taking the problem, matching it up with your solution and trying to meld the two together. On the pilot side, I've already mentioned a very famous one that a lot of people already know, but it's a whole different level for, let's say, ATP. The 737 guys, the guys that are flying commercially and professionally, as next level stuff. You've got a tube full of people and you are responsible for everybody. They also fly on a regular basis, so imagine you're nine to five flying all day long. They deal with a lot more stuff. Take it down a couple of notches to the CFI, the actual instructors. They have to now be accountable for the student who's trying to learn and they are also critically thinking and problem solving because not only do they have to teach, but they also have to be ready for an emergency, which takes it all the way down to the very lowest level, which is myself, the private pilot, the person who's just flying on the weekends, we still have to critically think and also problem solve. And I've had a couple situations already where it wasn't an, it wasn't even close to an emergency, but at the end of the day, I still had to work out in my head what I needed to do because it was something different from the normal situation that I faced before. So the third similarity between both successful pilots and successful sales professionals is the fact that both need to be able to critically think and problem solve on the fly. 
No pun intended. So that's all I got for you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. I will plan to continue to do these as I'm flying around. I actually got a couple really cool trips planned, one to Wisconsin and one over to Seattle to ride some motorcycles. And I really hope to get a lot of good content done while I'm over there. If you liked the video, go ahead and press like. If you wanna subscribe and see more content just like this, go ahead and press the button. It's the big red one. Don't need to explain where that's at. See you guys in the next one. Peace.